retreat, no surrender is being seen between Rigathi Gashagwa, the current deputy president, and William Samoy Ruto, the president of Republic of Kenya. Earlier today, Ruto's men raided Rigathi Gashagwa's home in Karin. And as I am just displaying the writing, the Star newspaper is exposing leak details emerge in Rigathi Gashagwa home in Karin, whereby breaking three senior aides of Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa were Tuesday grilled over an ongoing probe seeking to establish those who could finance the anti-government protest. Police visited the offices of the officials in Karin, Nairobi, for the statements in a session that took hours. The detective attached to the director of criminal investigation are investigating the violent protest and looting of businesses in Nairobi and parts of central Kenya. So it means that President Ruto fear and is sensing that Rigadi Gashagwa, together with his team, are the ones sponsoring the demonstration. Ladies and gentlemen, it is getting interesting and interesting day by day. Today, Zion Kenya TV YouTube channel want to come up with a conclusion rift between Rigadi Gashagwa, the deputy president, and William Samoy Ruto, the president in the Republic of Kenya. But before I carry on, ladies and gentlemen, may I take this opportunity to thank you so much for your great support you are offering to this channel. I don't take your support for granted. Actually, I am very much impressed on your subscription and uh, I want to appreciate you so much for your subscription that you are offering to this platform. What you normally forget with the ladies and gentlemen is giving this video a thumb of like or my videos a thumb of like. Please like my videos and don't forget to drop your opinion at the comment section below. Meanwhile, let us proceed with this political discussion. Now, what can you say about Rigadi Gashagwa and William Samoy Ruto? William Samoy Ruto is clearly telling Rigadi Gashagwa that he is not having any political agenda with him. He is very much comfortable if he have Rai Lodinga. Final. That is what Ruto is trying to tell here. Because if you can send your people to go and read the office of or the home where your deputy is living or staying in, then you are too much suspicious and you no longer having trust on your deputy president, on your deputy. And that is what you can also conclude according to your perspective on our political observation. So it means, I know some people will be happy on this movement, but with me, I don't support anyone, whether you are opposition or on the other side of the government. What I normally say here is let us speak the truth. Why do you think these people tended to raid Rigadi Gashagwa home in Kari? Because the news we are receiving from the star is illustrating to us that Rigadi Gashagwa team or three senior officials were the ones planning the demonstration which took place in our country, the Gen Z. That is what we are receiving. So, if Rigadi Gashagwa group are the ones who are involved, then William Ruto is now imagining that his deputy is the one sponsoring the demonstration. We've seen several pol political leaders coming from Mount Kenya that are saying that despite they have their own son, Rigadi Gashagwa, as the senior topmost official in Ruto's government, but they don't have they don't see that feeling that they have a gov they are in the government because other only people are benefiting 
themselves among themselves as regards yashagwa is like a flower girl to william ruto's administration which is wrong if you have that mentality i have no i have no any other evidence to prove that Rigathi Gashagwa is the one sponsoring the demonstration even the star reporting it it is just a kind of suspect they are trying to illustrate to us but in the sense of mind when you view this as a politically you will realize that Rigathi Gashagwa and Ruto are still not in good term so Ruto is trying to plant another tree on Rigathi Gashagwa door to block him to come out so that is what Ruto is intended to so there is a political revenge again Ruto is trying to plant between him and Rigathi Gashagwa and we are going to elaborate it more on our second analysis or on our another analysis which uh, I'm still going to repeat it here about the impeachment of Rigathi Gashagwa which I have all the evidence and how they are going to plan to impeach Rigathi Gashagwa so I think this is wrong as according to my side because when we will start betraying each other we are all politicians we betray each other right now I prefer Ruto to work with this deputy and ensure that the economy which is sinking is well maintained but he should not only trust himself but trust also his colleague remember Gerardo Gashawa is also very much important in the office of the president he acts as the deputy president so therefore he deserves that respect but as much as this uh, this guy had had some intention that Rigathi Gashagwa is the one sponsoring the, 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 the demonstration, senior official. Why could they come in a good term and come out with more and serious evidence to prove that Rigathi Gashagwa is the one sponsoring the, 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 the demonstration? I will keep on repeating here that the Gen Z's are not being sponsored. They are only expressing their feeling. If they could have been sponsored, then William Ruto could have not survived. Believe me or not, wangekuwa wanatoka hata huko Kisumu wanakuja Nairobi. Wangekuwa wanatoka huko Moyale wanakuja Nairobi. Wangekuwa wanatoka huko Mandera wanakuja Nairobi. Wanatoka Mombasa wanakuja Nairobi. Ili wafike almost 10 million wa storm status wafanyie kama Egypt walifanya. That is the first thing we must think of. But it's just a political rift imagining in our country each and every person is suspicious who is this person sponsoring the gen z we've had those the abductors they are saying they were being asked who is behind this they have refused to stay up today so this is just a political wrangle between regarding gashagwa and william ruto that is what i can conclude from that my point of view meanwhile politics is always well drafted well planned for any politician to achieve whatever he or she wants. I rest my case at that point. Ladies and gentlemen, all the best. Thank you so much for staying tuned in this YouTube platform. And I wish you all the best as we hope to meet on another political discussion.